Why do we race? Is it to prove how fast we are? How far we can go? Do we race to find our place? To test our beliefs? To be part of something greater? To face fear? To know sacrifice? To grow stronger? Immortal. In truth, there is no simple answer to why we race. There is only the fact that we will. Welcome to the Sequoito Jijio, a course that takes drivers from the shores of Copacabana Beach to the vistas of Corcovado Mountain. I'm here to give you your first look and first drive of the spectacular 2017 Ford GT on the colorful streets of Brazil's marvelous city. Hello everyone and welcome to Forza Motorsport 6 for Xbox One. I got this game a little bit earlier from Microsoft so I can show you today a little bit of the career mode. Um, the beginning of the career mode is the same as in the demo version. So we drive here at the Rio circuit with a Ford GT. Yeah, Forza Motorsport 6 comes out tomorrow um, only on Xbox Live as the Ultimate Edition for $99.99 in the US and $109.99 in Europe. Um, in the stores the game comes out on September the 15th in the US and in Europe three days later. Yep, Europe is late again. So in my opinion the game looks uh, better than the previous game for the Motorsport 5 and this time we've got a lot mo more cars on the track and this game runs at 1080p and 60 frames per second. So yeah, it looks great. So that was an easy win. And we unlock our first achievement. Congratulations, you have completed your first race. Yay. Nice driving. Just what I would expect from a Forza veteran. 
We'd like to thank you okay. for your loyalty with some gifts we've selected just for you. Hey, some new cars. <laughs> Nissan Jaguar, Aston Martin, Ford, another Ford, As a and 100,000 credits. You also set up your driving assists. Now I'll give you a quick primer before starting your career. Your career spans five different volumes, each built around a different type of car passion. From hot hatchbacks and vintage sports cars, to grand touring cars and formula racers, you will drive and collect the greatest cars in the world. But first, I'll guide you through a short three-race qualifying series. Your first qualification race takes place at Lime Rock Park, known for its flowing elevation and changes. We've assembled a roster of iconic cars from the Super Street volume to use for qualifying. All these cars have been upgraded to be evenly matched, so choose the one that speaks to you and we'll get started. Okay, so this is also the same as in the demo. Um. Volkswagen, Toyota, Subaru, Honda, and Mazda. Um, I think. Great choice. Now let's customize it to really make it yours. Since we're created okay, by um, vibrant now we can painters. choose a design can or a simply color, but, um, well, that looks great. A sunset overdrive car. <laughs> Are you ready to start your race in this car? Every race has an objective. For this qualifying race, you must finish in third place or better in order to advance. Select Start Race to begin. This menu allows you to select just the right Drivatar difficulty skill to provide you exactly the level of challenge you like. Increasing the difficulty will also increase your credits rewards. Decreasing the difficulty reduces this bonus, but it will be easier to win. technology each driver is as unique and can okay let's start the, who um, them. the next race with our sunset overdrive car golf okay here we go
Every time you race, you win credits. Credits help you buy new cars, upgrades, and other special items that I'll show you later. You'll also earn Experience Points, or XP for short. XP increases your driver level and affinity level. I'll share more details on these in the coming races. Nice work passing your first qualifying race. We're off to a night race at the Yas Marina circuit. With track temperatures cooling after sunset, your car's tires won't provide as much grip. Your challenge will be to find the limit of traction without going over it in order to win here. Okay, the next one is was also on the demo. Yas Marina Circuit in Abu Dhabi. Okay. Before you start the race, select Mods, and I'll introduce you to this powerful new feature. Mods give you a whole new way to fine-tune your experience. Whether you want to go even faster or raise the stakes, Mods give you the tools to make it happen. Select the starter pack to open it and see what mods you get. Reveal your new mods here, then press A and I'll show you how to apply them. Here, you can choose which mods you'll use. Some mods are permanent, while others are good for only one race. Select an empty slot to apply your mod. You have successfully applied your first mod. In my opinion, mods are useless. You can buy uh, other mods uh, with your in-game credit, but I think that doesn't belong in a racing simulation. But okay. Okay, here I show you uh, the different camera perspective um, behind the car. A little bit away from the car. Oh. Well, I can't drive with these. Uh, pretty horrible. Um, yeah, let's see if it's a front. I prefer uh, to drive with the camera inside the car to get the, the best feeling. And this is my second favorite camera angle.
time you increase your driver level, you'll win a prize spin. You've earned your first prize spin. You could oh, win cool. a credits windfall, mod packs, or even a brand new car. Press A to stop the spin and see what you win. Okay. As a Bugatti uh, would be cool. Come Bugatti. Car. Mm. I only have Ford Mustang. Uh, in the demo version, I get the Bugatti in the first the try. Final qualifying race takes place oh. at the Circuit of the Americas. The most critical section here is the tight corner leading onto the front straight, and the great overtaking area leading uphill into turn one. Yeah, finally a track that wasn't in the demo. Circuit of the Americas in Austin, Texas. If you feel ready for more of a challenge, select Drivatar difficulty and tailor your opponent's skill to be a perfect match for yours. So here we go. Uh, one thing about the Drivatars in the game. Um, these are a mix of other people who play this game and your Xbox Live friends and they should drive like your friends or other people but hey, <laughs> I go out of my way yeah, but I doesn't know how it works but because yeah, nobody in my friend list plays this game yet so maybe they use the driver task of Forza 5 or Horizon 2. I don't know.
Every time you raise your car's manufacturer affinity level, you receive a credits reward. Congratulations, you've successfully completed the qualifying series. Welcome to the Super Street volume. Let's learn more about the cars of Super Street. For most of us, our first and sometimes only taste of racing comes on the streets. If you love cars, this is where it all starts. In the empty parking areas and on the city streets where you race your mates between stoplights. We do this in the very first cars we owned or the ones we saved up for later. Then we fiddled with the engines and the suspension until they went faster and added stripes and stickers so they looked faster too. It's the same around the world, whether it's on Japanese mountain roads, on Britain's back lanes, or America's super highways. We're talking about affordable heroes, cars that bring performance to the people. Whether they're smoking around a parking lot or hammering along a city circuit you designed yourself. They aren't the most expensive, and they won't win every drag race, but they all prove one thing. You don't need a million dollars to have a car with a big heart. Each volume contains three series. You'll get to choose which car you'll use for each one. You are now entered in the Challenger series. Each circuit in this series will challenge different aspects of your car and your skill as a driver. Let's go choose what kind of car you'll be driving. Each division contains a group of cars from a specific car subculture. Select one of the highlighted divisions below to choose a car from its roster. Okay, um, let's see. Classic, compact. Mm. <laughs> Ultimate, hot, sport copy. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> Oof. Ah, come on, let's Two doors start with on a sport coupe. Lightweight, pokey, skinny tired, rear wheel drive, and affordable. Sounds simple, doesn't it? Yet it takes guts for a manufacturer to produce cars like these. Cars that take the demands of practical motoring and place them on the non existent back seat. Because really, they're made for one thing driving, even if you have nowhere to go. Uh, I think let's let's take uh, uh let's buy a cabriolet car. I only do two designs. Um, well let's take a color silver. Okay. Ah, that would. F Funny when the next race is a rain race. <laughs> this is your 1986 Alfa Romeo Spider Quadrifoglio Verde. You're all set up for Street Challenger Series. Let's go. The first race of this series takes place at Watkins Glen, 
a course that favors powerful vehicles that can make short work of its steep elevation changes. Forza Motorsport 6 is a realistic simulation that features several assists to make driving approachable for everyone. In the assists menu, you can adjust these settings to experience the full depth of this simulation.
So, the final corners in the race. Okay, let's take this corner perfectly. Okay. Yeah, and another win for us. Okay, um, this is the last race of this part. And I'm gonna upload tomorrow. Grand prizes have been added. This okay. happens at every driver level, so keep playing. Now firstly we next. get the one million credits. You won credit. The fifty thousand only. Oh come on. Uh what I would say, um yeah tomorrow I upload tons of content of Forza Motorsport 6. Um a more career gameplay and Your next race so on takes place in heavy rain at Sebring International Raceway racing on a wet track poses several challenges tires lose grip easier during cornering braking distances are longer and deep puddles accumulate causing a risk of hydroplaning okay one last race driving with the cabriolet in the rain Everybody do this. <laughs> um, yeah, I will upload tomorrow a lot of other Forza 6 content, gameplay, all the tracks, the cars, and so on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, was there a puddle or what? You're almost last. Um, yeah, rain races are, I think, yeah, are pretty gr great and for some motorsport 6. And the 3D puddles are awesome and when you drive you get aqua planning and so on.
I don't think I get this. I don't think I get the two guys ahead of us. They're so far away. They are too far away. But a third place is also a good result. Come, 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 get him. Uh, okay, a third place. Showcase events give you a chance to drive some of the work.